In this video, I'm going to talk to you about using masks in Album DS. Here I have a designed page all up and ready to go. And there's a couple of things I want to do with this. First of all, I want to add a transition that fades out so I don't see this gentleman right here. And then I want to add edge effects to these photos. What I'm going to do first is go ahead and do my fade effect. So what I need to do to apply a mask is click on the photo that I want to affect. And once that's selected, you just click on the shape layer right below it. You're going to apply masks to shape layers. So there's the proper shape layer. I'll now click on the mask tab. And I want to make sure that my transitional category is already loaded. The transitional category is where you'll find all your transitions. In fact, let me show just that category so you can see what I mean. So with all masks, white reveals your image area and gray starts to fade it and black doesn't let it show through at all. So for instance, this one is going to show the image in the center and fade out towards the left and right. This does the same thing, but it's a more um, a longer fade. And you can tell by the rest of these what's going to happen. So I want one that just has the black on the right hand side because that's where I want the fade. Here it is. If I double click it, the mask will be applied. And once it's done being applied, I'm still going to be on that shape layer and it'll be active in case I want to make any adjustments. I can adjust where the mask fades in by sliding this back and forth. So I just want that gentleman to fade out. So now that's faded out. I can hit return to accept it. To apply something like a border or edge effect, do the same thing. Click what you want to affect, then click the shape layer underneath it. The mask I want for this isn't loaded, so let's load some more. Let's go with something in the painting category. And if you have your mouse over preview up, you can even preview if you notice here on the right as you go over any of the masks. I think the one I want to try, let's try this one first. And now we can zoom in and see what that effect looks like. And there you can see the effect. If that isn't what I like with this mask and I want to use something different, with the shape layer selected, just double click on something else. and now that mask has been replaced. And if I wanted to use that same mask on these other photos, I just click the photo, click the shape layer underneath, double click the mask. Doing the same for the third. And now we're all set. In this case, a couple of the photos it since this has a thick border on this mask, I might want to slide the photos down just slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that one, slide this one, and do the same on this one. 
now I'm all set. Ta-da! Now, one last thing with masks. If you were designing a sheet from scratch and you hadn't placed your photos yet, I'm just going to draw out a shape here. You can always apply masks to shapes when you're designing. And what's cool about doing it this way first is that you can make copies easily of the shapes and they will retain the properties of the masks. You can even resize them. And this will accept a photo just like any other shape layer in Album DS. Just like that. And that covers masks.